Remember to mass place or paint details in your uh, terrain. What you're going to have to do is you're going to have to get an FBX version, not an OBJ. An OBJ format doesn't work, so you have to use FBX. So I went ahead and downloaded. Let's go to downloads here. This is an FBX. And I'm just going to go ahead and put that in my folder here. And it has to be that we're just going to apply a material to it, uh, the same material that uh, we applied to um, our other stone. Where are you? I can't see you. I'm going to move you. It's much smaller, that's why. I'm just going to apply the same material that we applied to the other boulder. So that one. And what we're going to do is we are going to go to our terrain. And I'm going to go to the same spot where I removed a bunch of trees. Right here. And we're going to place the boulders here. So with our terrain selected, you can go to paint details and then you're going to add your boulder here. So you're going to click on edit details. You can add grass texture or a detail mesh. So if I click on detail mesh, I'm going to select a game object and that would be this one. So I'm going to select that and the colors, I want them to be like in the grays and this has to transform to vertex lit and then you can um, increase the size to whatever you want minimum height is let's see yeah that's fine I guess and I'm gonna add that and then We've added our detail mesh. If you want to edit it later on, you can select it and edit it. And then I can start adding those randomly. And you can see how that placed them here. I don't know why it's placing them around the grid. I'm going to have to figure that out. But I believe you can fix that. You can remove the frequency. Like, see how that's a lot? You can remove some of them by holding the shift key. And this is a little glitchy for some reason. But um, you should be able to do that. And you can edit the frequency here too. Noise spread and stuff. So that's how you're going to add like lots of rocks here. I'm going to see, like, in the previous modes, it never created this sort of, like, the, it didn't follow along the grid lines, like, the way it is right now. So I don't know why it's doing that. Um, that's really weird. But yeah, that's how you would add them. And then you can just like hold shift and move them around a little. Yeah. It's super weird that it's doing that. Maybe we have to turn off the grid somehow. But anyway, that's how you would add. I'll turn off the grid and see maybe that, that'll work. Maybe that's what's causing it, but that's how you add mass place rocks and stuff. And then if you control click to erase only details of the selected type, if you hit control, you can only, you will only delete those uh, specific ones just of the selected detail that you have. 
So I'm going to hold control now and remove some. And then I can lower the, you know, the opacity might be something that would reduce the amount of rocks and the target strength. Yeah, there you go. That's better. Target strength. Let's reduce that. Yeah. So let's reduce that even more. So that's a little better, right? And we can hold control, erase some of those. Yeah. That's a lot better. So now if I start adding, it's a lot better. So you can, you can start doing that, start adding details and stuff. Okay? Anyway, that's really it. And then just like that, you would add grass too. So instead of, when you add grass, instead of doing add, add detail mesh, you will add a grass texture type. And for that, you have to uh, you know, have the same way that we created the leaves with the alpha channel and everything, you have to do that. All right.